We've got some a little unusual transitions in here. They still fit into our main categories, but let's take a look at the sentences first. With its cliched imagery of suburban lawns and power lines, John Ashbery's 2004 poem, Ignorance of the Law is No Excuse, may seem barren terrain for critical analysis. Cultural critic Lauren Berlant finds fertile ground in just its first two stanzas, devoting most of a book chapter to deciphering the weight of the default space Ashbery creates in this poem. So in a very dumb way, I think this is a negative to positive transition. Right, We have it's barren, which means it's empty, it doesn't have anything, so there, there's nothing to analyze is what they're saying. It's, there's no critical analysis to be done because it's kind of an empty poem. But cultural critic Lauren Berland finds fertile, right? And, and this is weird because barren and fertile are synonym or are, are opposites, are antonyms, uh, but they're both being used in a metaphorical way here. Barren is, is kind of like a field is barren if there's nothing growing on it, whereas fertile is the opposite means lots of stuff grows on it. So we're not using it in that very literal way, but we're still using two very similar words that could apply in that situation. So that's, that's just interesting to me. Um, maybe it goes to show why learning vocabulary is important, because if you don't know those two words, then this contrast probably won't make a lot of sense to you. But it's definitely a contrast. It's it's bad, but then this person has found a way to criticize it. Uh, so that's good. And so right away, I'm already drawn to a word like uh, nonetheless, um, which is a, a word that means but. So that's, that's a really good sign. Let's talk about these other words. Um, likewise is uh, basically a word that means similarly. So it's not a comparison here, right? Where we're saying these things are different, not the same. So that doesn't work. In turn is one that we do not see on these questions very often, but it means so. I think that's the best way to categorize it. In turn, like um, uh, just kind of in in this way is maybe what it means. Is it's, it's kind of doing a cause and effect situation. So it doesn't make sense here because if it's a barren poem, then it wouldn't cause us to be able to pull a lot of stuff out of it and criticize it. It's They're saying opposite things here. Um, that is, um, that one to me is, is kind of like in other words. So that's not necessarily one of our main categories, but I do think it's helpful to, to bring it back to something that's a little bit more common on the SAT. That is, would be basically a way to repeat what we just said and to say it in different words. So hopefully that helps, but this is not that, right? This is not in other words, it's new words. It's different, it's a different idea. So that's why it doesn't work. So. A uh, lot of great things we can get out of this question, but I do love that the dumb summaries here, the connotations really help us, but you do need to know some vocab in order to be able to pull that, con uh, that contrast out quickly and confidently.